831. Good morning and thank you for joining us on Wavy News 10 on Fox 43. I'm Katie Collette. And I'm Don Roberts. Let's get another update on breaking news out of Chesapeake that we've been following all morning. Rico Bush is in the Brentwood neighborhood where a barricade situation ended with six family members dead. And Rico, needless to say, this is shocking for the community. And you spoke with another neighbor who says she knows the family. Well, that's right, Don and Katie, and they say it's very, very disturbing. They are heartbroken uh, by this tragedy here. We will get to portions of that interview in just a second, but we are learning more details about this incident, horrifying details uh, that led to six people being found dead inside two homes, one on Wildwood Road as well as Winter Green Drive. Let's get right to some video of that investigation that uh, played out overnight. Police say that it all started at a home around 3.30 last night on Wildwood Road. That was the first crime scene. One officers got there. They discovered a person dead inside of that home. That first home, that crime scene is only a block away from the second crime scene. Now, police say after further investigation, they led the police to the residence located on North George Washington Highway and Rena Green Drive, where that suspect barricaded himself inside the home. Police say for several hours, they tried to negotiate with that armed person. Those negotiations did not go well, and at some point, officers went inside that home, and they were shocked to find five people, including the suspect dead. Now, we did talk to a neighbor in the area. Take a listen to her and her reaction as she learned about this tragedy. I'm devastated. I am just shocked because nice kid. I don't know why. I really don't. I really do not know. Now, investigators say they believe this all stemmed from a domestic incident. Police say all the victims are related and they believe the suspect killed family members before they arrived. Now, police are classifying this as a murder suicide. And back out here live, you can see the home now boarded up. Uh, some people who we believe are. Uh, friends of the victims. They are here boarding up this home. They uh, put some uh, a lot of things away that were on the ground earlier in the morning. Uh, we also know that officers took out a lot of evidence from this home overnight. Uh, we are still working uh, to find some unanswered questions. There are still a lot of unanswered questions. The thing and the main thing that is lacking now is the motive. Why did this man do that? Of course, we'll continue to uh, follow this story as it unfolds and we'll try to get those answers for you on Wavy dot com as well as later in our newscast. For now that's the latest here in Chesapeake. I'm Rico Bush. Don Kitty back to you.